Hey guys, this is Michael Rock and welcome back to my channel. One of the easiest ways to improve your workflow when you create EDB files using class in is by learning and using keyboard shortcuts. Also, you can use these shortcuts when you're teaching or streaming online. So in the short video, I'm going to share different shortcuts that I personally use and I'm pretty sure they're gonna improve your working experience. And by the way, guys, if you're new here and you wanna check all the features that Classin provides, please check my link down below in the description and you'll be able to explore everything that this stunning platform provides for two weeks absolutely for free. So if you haven't tried it yet, I think it's the best time to do that. I've divided all the shortcuts into several groups. So let's start with the first one. In Classin, most of the shortcuts start with Command key if you're using Mac OS or Control key if you're using Windows. In this video, I'm using Mac OS, so in further examples, I will use Command key. Let's start with some basic shortcuts. To load image or ETB file, simply press Command O. I find this combination very convenient because I usually load different images during classes, so I can do it 10 times faster than using mouse. After making some changes, you can easily save your EDB file by pressing Command S. If you want to clear everything and start creating new EDB file, you can press Command N. Please pay attention that you cannot undo this operation, so I prefer to have this notification of confirmation every time I hit this key combination. Right now, let's switch to some other basic stuff in class in. To activate your pointer in a click mode, press Command G. So in this mode, wherever you click, you'll not be able to move anything. So it's convenient to use this mode when you're just following EDB file and you don't need to make any changes. If you want to select and move objects or images in your EDB file, press Command M. To delete separate objects or images, choose the one you want to delete and press Command D, Delete or Backspace key. Just choose the combination that is more convenient for you. If you occasionally deleted image that you didn't want to delete, you can simply cancel this operation by pressing Command Z. The fastest way to take a screenshot is by pressing Option plus Command plus X. After you took it, you can easily resize it and place it in the right position. And there is another cool feature that you can activate by pressing Command L. It calls laser pointer. For your better understanding how does this feature actually work, I'll show you divided screen with teacher's screen on the left side and student's screen on the right side. So when you choose laser pointer, students can see the way you move a pointer so they can follow you when you want to pay attention to specific parts of your EDB file. And another cool thing is that if laser pointer activated, you can easily switch between other features, but your pointer still will be visible. The second group of shortcuts is related to paintbrush and text. I've connected them into one group because they have a lot of similarities. To activate paintbrush, simply press Command P. And when this feature is activated, you can easily change shapes by pressing Option and Numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. It's very convenient because sometimes you need to change shapes while you're teaching or streaming online, so in that case you don't need to use mouse to do that. Also, when paintbrush feature is activated, you can change color of your shapes by pressing Option plus any of those keys that you see on the screen now. If you notice, all these letters represent position of keys on the left side of your keyboard. So just take some time to memorize relation between each color and key and you'll definitely boost up your productivity. The same idea works with text, so press Command T to activate text box. You can easily change font size by pressing Option, plus, one, two, three, or four, and change color the same way you just did with Paintbrush by pressing Option and following keys that you see on the screen. And in the third group of shortcuts, I have very common shortcuts that we typically use in other applications, but some of them perfectly work in class in. If you want to select all objects and images in your EDB file, simply press Command A. You can also clear Blackboard by pressing Command A and then Delete button. 
But the difference of this method between a previous that I show you when you need to press Command N is that you can undo this operation by pressing Command Z as many times as it needed. To copy objects and images, select the one you need and press Command C and Command V combination. Also, you can achieve the same result by holding Command key, clicking on the image and dragging it as many times as you need. Alright guys, as you see, using keyboard shortcuts can substantially speed up your workflow. If you don't use them or only use some of them, I really suggest you to take some time and learn all mentioned shortcuts. And I'm pretty sure you'll see the difference in your workflow very soon. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you find this video helpful, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell for more videos like this in the future. Also, if you have any questions, ideas or any other shortcuts that you'd like to share with other class and users, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. So that's it. Have a good day and see you soon. Pull up, hop out, then she swerve. Do your two step, your little cap won't make it work. Make it work, do your things, make it work, strike a pose. Make it work, do your things, make it work, strike a pose. I pull up, hop out, then I swerve. Do my two step, my little cat won't make it work.